I just realized this might be inappropriate. Come on, oh well. fellas, let's do it. There's too much AA. Hey everyone, Seawell Bowtie here with an uh, episode of Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II. Um, I play this a lot when um, it first came out. It was one of the first um, games that had um, a lot of language in a sense. Um, but my dad bought it for himself, but then he didn't know how to play it and... I, I was sitting there just watching him. I was like, um, it's pretty obvious. Um, there we go. Um, not available, of course. But, um, I mean, the, the, this has some language. It has, I mean, it's World War II. So, I mean, of course, it's kind of gruesome. Kind of gruesome. What am I talking about? But, <laughs> um... I, I really like this game. I've been wanting to play this for a while um, on the channel because I mean I played this in yeah middle school. I want to say from I played it all the way through sixth to eighth grade just to um, get all the ships, get all the rankings and stuff. And of course, I don't have that save file anymore, but it's whatever. Um, training day. Let's go. In 1939, the world caught on fire. Well, the signs had been there for years, but when Hitler crossed the border into Poland, the balloon really went up. One country after another went down under the Blitzkrieg, while back home, we just watched and waited and tried to tell ourselves it was none of our business. At least, some of us did. There were a few who didn't want to sit back and wait for Hitler to come knocking on our doors. Some of us who were pilots found a way to join up with the RAF to help out any way we could. They called us Eagle Squadrons, and I was with the 71st, the very first one formed. Officially, our first action was the Battle of Britain, but that's not quite true. The first time I fired my plane's weapons in anger was at Kinloss, OTU, where I'd been sent to rendezvous with another American recruit for training. His name was Joe Castle, and he was from Mississippi. He'd never been away from home before. <laughs> uh, man... That brings back so many memories hearing that voice and just, uh, because I, I remember this was one of the games that got me into history. I mean, I, I loved all the subjects in school. I was a nerd. I was the person that liked all the subjects, including PE. Um, but I, I don't know. It was just, man, it, this, this took me in the course of like understanding, yeah, history is important and there's so much that we don't get taught, taught about and like, uh, it's like there's certain battles, there's certain things that happen after certain battles that we get taught about that are very important also. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this because I probably don't. You're Joe, right? I thought you were a mechanic. Well, yeah, mainly, but uh, yeah. I do a little piloting too. That's the only way they take me, you know? But enough yapping, let's get this kind of Down and uh, up. Oh, gosh, that's too much. Ooh. You got to get her off the ground, Captain. I did. This is easy. Okay, guns. Um, I don't want to. I should have looked at the control scheme. Yeah, go back, to slow down. Come on, try flying a little. We, I'm flying. Woo! Like this? It's <laughs> like this. Hold on. Woo! Oh. That's it, Captain. You're doing just fine. Can I? Yeah. Oh, I've already been doing that. What are you talking about? Woo! Cut her loose, Captain. She ain't fragile. Uh, trust me, you would have told me that beforehand. 
And this is built for very nice easy getting ups and downs. Over here. Let me tell you. That's not the right here, terminology, right, sorry. They can use all the help they can get. Mm. There you go. Turn and then Yeah, man, this feels like second nature because I've played around. it so long. Beautiful, ain't it? From up here the airfield looks like a dollhouse. Now over there is the village. Bring her in low if you want to see how many of them are light sleepers. Uh, I'm gonna crash somehow. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to make an introduction. Don't shoot the church. <laughs> uh, better us than the Germans. So, I was in the local with a couple of the other pilots, and they were talking about how they can bring their planes around while keeping an eye on the other guy. Oh. You wanna learn how to do that? I forgot about this technique. It's very important. Yeah, there we go. I got other things to do, you know. Now give the camera a try. I am. Good. Now just fly over the church while keeping your eyes on it. Okay. Great maneuver. I see you got it. Keep practicing. This will help you a lot during air combat. Now let's go over here. They got an army base over yonder, too. Beats the heck out of the forts I used to make when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I think this beats everything when we were kids. Good, now just fly toward the military base. Towards it? I will fly towards it, thank you very much. Oh, I should be... That's what I get for playing around. Good, now bit. just fly toward the military base. Cool. Am I taking Good. it for a landing? Let's head for the airport now. Really, this is it? No, 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 I remember this being way more. Alright. Uh that should not have pointer nose at the military base. Okay, they're gonna be replacing the barrage balloons over there anyway, so we can test out the guns on the old girl and have a little fun while we're at it. Sounds like poppers, but I There's a target now. You see it? Ooh. Why don't we go give that balloon what for? I'm going for these first. That's one balloon that won't be bothering us again. Of course. I can see. Got another target off to the right. Ugh. There's one over to the left. Oh my gosh. Bring her in easy on this one. Nah, uh, I'm gonna go full force on this one. You, don't forget about that one. Of course. How could I? All right, now well, let's make like we're strafing a German convoy. Pretend those balloons are trucks and take them out. Where they want? Uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, I want to make this very easy on myself by just going straight down the line. That's it. He's off the throttle a bit to slow down and see if that don't help your aim now. Yep, it does. Thank you. Even though I was going to do it anyways. Tip. Now try speeding up. You're going to need to be able to shoot fast and accurate up here. Of course. Got it. Slowing down gives time for the enemy to catch up. Your target's going down. Man, that ought to do it. There Watch we go. Out. You're about ready for action. Awesome. Now for the fun part. Head for the church steeple over yonder. Is that you up there again, Joe? Didn't I tell you not to teach the new lads any bad habits? 
I can't rightly remember. Y'all's accent is too thick. You gotta learn to speak proper English. <laughs> Proper English? Bloody no help. Hey, just don't drop another bog roll on the church. Oh my gosh. No, we're just gonna... I won't. I won't. Will. <laughs> he will. Line up a shot with the targeting camera. Ah, crud. I gotta make a bypass. I mean, Give it another pass. Nobody gets it on the first try. Well, I would have if it had... There we go. I was like wondering why it's not going. Bombs away. <laughs> yeah. Here's your bomb letters. <laughs> there you go. Direct hit. How okay. about you come about and give it another run? Okay. We'll do. Just don't hit the steeple. There you go. Direct hit. Woo. Now try speeding up. You're gonna need to be able to shoot fast and accurate up here. I, I thought I've been doing that. Oh crap, I stalled. That's what happens when you go up too fast and you have no um, wind resistance with the um, actual wings. It's great to say um, massive air tunnel with it. Kind of like how um, your throat does when um, you're singing and talking. Okay, am I doing another one? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm doing another. Oh my gosh! Don't pay attention. There you go. Oh. Direct hit. Gosh, took forever. Great maneuver. I see you got it. Keep practicing. This will help you a lot during air combat. Oh my gosh, this is going to be annoying already. This is when the real action happens. I thought we were done with the balloons. Hang on, that's a German kite over there. Mm -hmm. It's doing recon. You think we can take him in this crate? Oh, yes. Probably a little slow, I but... I faith in you, Captain. Take him out. Scare him off. Oh, I just damaged him a little bit, man. run for it. Don't let him get away. He's gone. So. damn! Your first kill. Congratulations, Captain. Oh no, the anxiety of killing someone. All units scramble. Repeat. All units scramble. Oh yeah, this. I forgot about. We have three Jerry's inbound trying to pick off one of our boys on his way home. Don't worry, I'm coming in. Escort him in. One, there's two. No three. Down. Son of a. Let's give him what for. She's all I'm yours. Fire. I'll Looks try like to our boy it. took some fire over there. We need to take them fighters out quick. I could use a little help here. I'm coming in. Tom, you hit me. is that you? I'm all right. Joe, no time to chat. Get these buzzards off my tail. He ain't going. Oh, hell, we gotta save I've got one on my brother I'm trying to lose it. Goodness gracious. Don't worry. We'll get him home. What's your status, Tom? We got him, Cat. My fuel tank's leaking, and I can't bounce for my landing gear. Oh, great. I'm hoping I don't bounce. Uh. Pull on throttle. Watch out. Understood. Sorry. I'm approaching your position now. My fault. Lead the shots. Always down. works. Woo! Woohoo! Hey, that was some nice flying there, buddy. Tom, you gotta meet this guy. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Just let me land first, Joe. There's plenty of time for introductions later. Now we gotta introduce each other Sorry. right now. Things are heating up across the channel. I think we're gonna be up in the air together again. Real soon. That was my introduction to Tom and Joe. I learned later that they were brothers-in-law, though really, they were both like brothers to me. It turned out that Joe had married Tom's sister, 
and that he'd followed Tom into volunteering. Tom was worried sick about the kid, and would be as long as we flew together. He didn't want to have to go back mm, home to the landing, town of works. Wisconsin and tell his sister that he'd had to watch her husband go down in flames. He was like that with all of us, really. The protector of our little family. I always knew that he'd have my back no matter what kind of hell we flew into. Hmm. And it didn't take him long to throw us into the fire. I knew we'd be tested after Kinloss. I just didn't know how soon. Are we good? Yeah! Aced! Heck yeah! Uh, probably not gonna begin that a lot. <laughs> um, well, that's the first episode. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!